Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Tell me the remaining story of the Prophet Baba. Haha, <laughs> you look so excited today, Amir. Yes, I am. Inshallah, I will tell you another story of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, today. Now listen carefully. Bismillah. The story of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. In the last episode, we saw how Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, got orphaned as a child and how his uncle Abu Talib brought him up. The Prophet then married Khadija and eventually settled in Makkah. The Prophet from his humble beginnings had now become wealthy and quite respected. Khadija gave birth to three sons and four daughters. But none of the male children survived. They all died in childhood itself. The Prophet loved Ali very much and he found consolation in him. It was during this time that a group Arab plunderers captured Zaid, a young boy from the arms of his mother. These plunderers then sold the boy as a slave in the market of Ukaz. Zai was bought by a relative of Khadija and he gave him as a gift to her. Khadija in turn gave the boy to the Prophet as a gift. The Prophet became very attached to Zaid, to whom he referred as Al-Habib, which means the Beloved. Zaid considered the Prophet to be his mentor and followed his ways. The boy had a spiritual mind and good morals of the Prophet. In the meantime, Zaid's parents were still grieving at the loss of their son. They prayed on a daily basis that their beloved son would be returned to them. One day, the parents of Zaid visited Makkah to perform the pilgrimage. It was here that they spotted Zaid and with great relief, they rushed towards him. When his father came to know about this wonderful news, he loaded his bags with gold and approached Muhammad. The father thought he can purchase his son back from his owner. Zaid's father met the Prophet and asked him to release his boy. Then the Prophet asked him, Who is this person whose release you are demanding? Your slave, Zaid ibn Haritha, replied the father. Shall I show you a way by which you can get your son back without paying the gold? The father was surprised and he asked, What is this way you are talking about? I will call him here in front of you. If he wishes to go with you, then he is free to do so. You can take him gladly and I will take now payment from you. But, the Prophet continued, If he prefers to stay with me, then I will not force him to go with you. Zaid's father agreed and they called the boy. The Prophet then explained the choices he had and asked him to make a decision. I will stay with you, the boy said immediately. His father was shocked to hear this. Then he asked him, Don't you want to stay with your parent? Or do you prefer to remain as a slave? Father, said the boy, I am deeply moved by the qualities of this man and by the way he treats me with love and affection. I can never leave him and live anywhere else. The Prophet's heart swelled when he heard this. He led Zayed to the center of the town and he proclaimed loudly, This is my son and we inherit each other. As a result, Zayed bin Haritha was renamed Zayed bin Muhammad as it was customary during those days. This cordial relationship lasted till his last breath. Prophet Muhammad wasalam, was approaching the age of 40. He was very sad looking at the condition of his people. His country was torn into wars and his people were sunk in barbarism. They were addicted to superstitions and idol worshipping. The people were always fighting with each other. The Prophet had a habit of secluding himself in a cave on Mount Hira just a few miles from Mecca. He used to pray and meditate inside this cave most of the time alone. 
Here, he often spent the nights in deep thought and profound communion with the all-knowing Allah of the universe. It was during one of these nights when no one was near him that an angel appeared before him. The Prophet was amazed by the sight of the angel. He couldn't believe his eyes. The angel then asked the Prophet to read. But how could the Prophet read when he had never gone to school? I am not a reader, he said to the angel. Then suddenly, the angel took hold of him and squeezed him tightly. The angel said again, Read. I am not a reader, the Prophet cried again. The angel then squeezed the Prophet so hard that he thought that he would faint. And he said, Read. In the name of your Lord and Cherisher, who created man out of a clot of congealed blood, Read, and your Lord in the most generous, who has taught writing by the pen, taught man which he knew not. The Prophet repeated the words with a trembling heart. Perplexed by his experience, Prophet made his way to home. As soon as he entered his house, he said to his wife, Wrap me up, wrap me up. He was trembling as he said this, and she wrapped him up in a towel until his fear was gone. He explained to his wife what had happened. When he finished, he asked her if she thought he had gone mad. Allah forbid, she replied. He will surely not let such a thing happen, for you speak the truth. You are faithful in trust. You assist your fellow men. Then she went to her cousin Warawa ibn Nafal, who was old and blind, but he knew the scriptures quite well. He had translated them into Arabic. When she told him about what happened to her husband, he cried out, Holy! Holy! This is the Holy Spirit that came to Moses. He will be the prophet for his people. Tell him this and ask him to be brave at heart. The prophet continued to receive revelations for the remainder of his life. It was memorized and written down by his companions on sheepskins. The Prophet knew that the people had to hear the message from God. So he started preaching to the people what God told him. For the first few years of his mission, the Prophet preached to his family and close friends. The first woman to convert was his wife Khadija and the first bondsman was his servant Zayd. His old friend Abu Bakr was the first adult free male to convert. Many years later, the Prophet said this about him. I have never called anyone to Islam who was not at first hesitant, except Abu Bakr. Later, the Prophet received the command to preach openly. MashaAllah, that was such an amazing story. I'm glad you liked it, Amir. Did the people hate the Prophet? Yes, Amir, that was very unfortunate. Like every other Prophet, he too had to face countless rejections and hatred from his people. But this didn't let the Prophet down and he continued to preach to his people, delivering the message of Allah. Now, are you ready for the questions? Yes, I am. Alright, now tell me how Zayd met the Prophet. Hmm, Zayd was kidnapped by some Arabs and then sold as a slave in local market. He was bought by a relative of Khadija. When she married the Prophet, she gave Zayd as a gift to her husband. That's correct. But why didn't Zayd leave the Prophet when his parents arrived? The Prophet never treated Zayd as a slave and he treated him well. Also, Zayd had never met a more gentle person than the Prophet. That's why he chose to stay with the Prophet. That's right again. What was the name of the mountain where Prophet regularly worshipped? Hmm... It was Mount Hira. <laughs> That's right again. Now tell me, why wasn't the Prophet able to read when the angel asked him to? Prophet was never schooled, so he did not know how to read or write. Who was the first woman to convert to Islam? It was his wife, Khadija. And who was the first child to convert to Islam? It was Prophet's first cousin, Ali. What was the name of the first bondsman to get converted into Islam? It was Zaid. And lastly, who was the first free person to get converted into Islam? It was the Prophet's friend Abu Bakr. MashaAllah, you gave me all the right answers, my son. Thank you, Baba. That's all for today. I will tell you the remaining story of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, tomorrow. Good night, Baba.